Hey Bob, this is Rand. Let me see if I can explain again how to uh, save pictures to your computer from an email. This is using the new mail program on uh, Lion. Uh, it's pretty nice. I'm getting used to it. I like it. It's similar to the mail, old mail program. I think somewhere there's a way to do this in Outlook if you use an Outlook. Let me show you how it would work here. I've got an email with some pictures sent to myself. It shows, says right here there's five attachments. I click and hold. Save all. You can see down here the default thing is saved to iPhoto, but you're not using iPhoto. So you got to go an intermediate way. You got to go save all to a folder, and I made a folder on my desktop called Dog Photos. Now click save and put it there. Another way to do it would be to have the email open, and so you can see the desktop. Make a new folder. And in case you forget how to do that, you click on desktop, go to File, New Folder. Your photo opens up, and I would name it Dog Photos, and have it on the desktop. You open that up, and I've already practiced. So this folder would be open right here. So I'd have the email with all the pictures and the folder I want to go into right next to each other. Click on the email to Command A on the keyboard, so they're all selected. Click and drag it right over this folder. I hope this works. I hope it works. I hope it works. It's not acting like it wants to work. I think it's going to work. Please work. Let me try one. Uh, there was one. One works. I think I have to get used to how it works in Tiger. It's a little bit different. But you get the idea. This is another way we did it was we made a folder on the desktop. And what we do with that folder, we put that folder into Aperture. But another way to do it would be this. And maybe it's the way you want to do it. You had, you had one picture in that email. It was Lucy. She was a good girl. She's gone. If I want this in my Aperture library, I click on it and drag it right on top of the Aperture icon. Can you see how Aperture name shows up? I let go. Aperture bounces a little bit. It's opening the library. And it's going to import into an untitled project. The picture right here. It's taking a minute. All right. It's imported already. Say OK. And here in this untitled project is a picture of my dog Lucy. And since I want to organize things, I would drag from this untitled project into a full project I already have. And you have projects already. Drag it to where it belongs. Click on this. Right click. Delete the project. Let me try that again. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We can do it. All right. Say you have one picture you want to bring into Aperture. So say you have two pictures, so click and shift click. Click on one, drag it until the arrow is over aperture. See aperture is highlighted, let go, aperture bounce, bouncy, bouncy. Opens the library. It's importing into untitled project. It is done. There's my two dog pictures. I shift click. I'm going to clean it up and put them over here into this project, the project that I want them to live in. Now that's if I have a project. Maybe I don't have a project. Maybe I want to name this one Lucy and Dusty. And there we go. So it, unfortunately, it's kind of roundabout since you use an aperture, but um, that's probably the best way to go. Either drag it right onto the icon, or drag the pictures into a folder on desktop, and then you would drag this whole folder onto aperture and import. So uh, let me review that one. Say you did that, right? Let me open this up. Oh, my nose is still stuffed. So you open it up. I'm going to drag down here. Here's my good pictures of, of Petra. She's a good girl. She's at my feet right now. I'm put those inside here. Oh, I did it. I did it right. So in this case, I want to put, we call it all dog photos. So I want a new, get down. Get, I got a dog up my lap. <laughs> I want a new project in Aperture called all dog photos. So drag the folder of these pictures from my email. Put it right on top of Aperture. And what's different is this time, it brings it into a project with the name All Dog Photos. So you can see there's at least 10 ways to do this. Hopefully one of those, one of those ways makes sense to you. If you want to call me later tonight, I'm going to be out taking pictures of the stars and, and sniffing my nose because I still got cold. Okay, bye.